official media. Every coffee needs a lotus.
What's the secret to beauty's beauty? Langis. Ito ba lahat ang gamit mo? Ay hindi. Isa lang ang gamit ko for all. Moringa O2 Therapy Oil. Hindi lang malunggay. Meron ding olive oil and omega from sunflower oil. This therapy oil helps relieve my dry and irritated skin. It helps lighten my scars and stretch marks. It helps make my hair young and healthy. This is our beauty secret. Sana all. Sana oil. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mel, and I am Choosy. My ultimate skin goal is gusto kong mag-even out ang skin tone ko. Hi, my name is Gian Anwada. My skin goals are to become whiter, fairer, healthier, and... It really shows na yung skin ko ngayon mas moisturized, mas glowing, and mas healthy. Thanks to Glutasy, I got my skin tone back. Thank you so much, Glutasy. To mind, this is how a mother spends her rest day in the comfort of her balcony within the city. Find your simple pleasures at Solano Hills your beautiful yet affordable country lodge from Finma Properties. Nestled along natural sloping features, this homey community is strategically located. easing back into old routines only now with extra care let's do it for ourselves for our loved ones for everyone's safety let's go let's go And staying safe starts at home. From how we work and learn to the little ways we find joy. If you must head out, 
take extra care. Making a small effort. Being mindful. They go a long way Bye -bye. to keeping us all safe. The health of all depends on each one of us. So let's work together using new tools and keeping to our new habits to protect the people we love. At work, let's all be good team players. A little distance between us today will be good for us all tomorrow. A little care can protect the one thing that means the world to us. So let's do our part. expressed by the speaker, host, commentator, or other third party in Arriva webinars, e-learning events, and or virtual masterclass are those of the speaker, host, commentator, or third party, and do not necessarily reflect and represent the views and opinions of Arriva. Furthermore, Arriva does not warrant, express, or imply the merchantability and the fitness for a particular purpose of any product information, service, or process presented by the speaker, host, commentator, or third party, and Arriva specifically disclaims any legal liability or responsibility for the accuracy, completeness, or usefulness of any product information, service, or process presented. Finally, material or information presentation, opinion, process, or service by on any trade name, trademark, manufacturer, or otherwise during Arriva webinars, e-learning events, and or virtual masterclass do not constitute or imply Arriva's endorsement or recommendation of such opinion, process, service, item, or organization. everyone welcome to Arriva Academy's free live webinar with our topic this afternoon how to overcome unconscious bias in the workplace I'm Kate and I will be with you this afternoon as your host and I am also excited to learn with everyone so now before we get to know our speaker I have a few reminders to make sure that this program will run smoothly this afternoon 
Arriva is committed to protecting your privacy, hence stricter security of this webinar has been implemented. So for better viewing of your Zoom experience, we encourage you to please update your Zoom application by visiting their website. And for those of you who are using their mobile gadgets to view this webinar, you can go to either the Google Play Store or the Apple Store so you can download and install the Zoom app. Now, I want to know who here is attending an Arif Academy webinar for the first time. Can you type hi in the chat box so that we can acknowledge you and welcome you? Just type hi in the chat box so I can know who you are. Hi, Mary. Wow, we have a lot of first timers. Bernardine, Shanice, Rowena, good afternoon. Aiko, Paul, good afternoon, Paul. Baby, Beverly, Ferline. Hi, Michael. Hi, Gertrude. Hi, Joy. Maayong hapon, Francis. Magandang hapon, Gabrielle, Mary Joy, Elezaline. Ronnie, good afternoon to you, Ronnie. Hi, Jeannie. Wow. Rosaline. I LeMay, Marilyn, we really have a lot. I think a majority of our participants are first time attendees of an Arif Academy webinar. Welcome to Arif Academy, everyone. And if ever you've attended in the past, welcome back. Now, I want to make sure that once our speaker is on screen, you will be able to hear the discussion clearly. So let's do an audio check. Please type 111 in the chat box if you can hear me clearly. You can also type 222 if you can't hear anything. 2121 if you can hear me but the sound is breaking up. Or question mark if you don't understand what is happening and we will help you out. Let me check. Okay, so far I am seeing a lot of 111s. That's good to know. Thank you so much. Later, we'll have a five-minute break, but that would be before our Q&A portion. So watch out for that. I'll be announcing that later. Participants' microphones will be temporarily disabled by our administrator during the discussion to avoid interruptions. But for those of you who might have a question, please click the raise hand button during our Q&A portion, and then we'll allow you to ask your question directly to our speaker. Or you can also post your question here in the chat box. Just type them here, and then we'll be reading them later. E-certificates of attendance will be awarded to two participants who will successfully complete the entire virtual masterclass. And they will be available three to five days after the e-learning session. So please help us build and improve our service with your comments and feedback. You can scan this QR code that will bring you to the feedback form. At the end of our session this afternoon, please send the feedback form back to us. Thank you so much. Okay, now let's time for us to get to know our speaker. Our speaker is a U.S. certified neuroscience coach, as well as a U.S. certified neurolinguistic programming trainer. He graduated with a degree in engineering, then went on to acquire an MBA and a Master of Science degree in economics. He has had an extensive corporate background in senior executive positions in a variety of industries. He promises to help us understand our minds without incurring a headache with you more and a highly captivating presentation that would help us embark on our journey to living our best life. So friends, let us all welcome our learning partner, Coach Ben Ampil. Good afternoon, Kate. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Coach Ben. It's a pleasure to be here once again. It's a pleasure to be uh, see new faces. And I promise that that part of the introduction, which says that I promise not to give you a headache, I will fulfill <laughs> that. Guys, allow me to share a screen. All right. Um, I promise you guys that this will be a very life-changing event.
we'll be try, trying to understand the neuroscience bias. And you can see that a lot of smiling faces are actually flashing on the upper right because that is our desired state. But as far as our brain programming is concerned, it is running opposite. Old ways will not open new doors. There's a famous American author and philosopher by the name of Henry David Thoreau. He said, it's not what you look at that matters. Friends, what are you looking at now? Or what do you look at on a normal day? It's not what you look at that matters. It's what you see. Because normally we look at things, but we see differently. We can look at things and we actually see it differently. And much of this is within our control. Much of it is not within our control. Now, because of the two-year lockdown of COVID, we are so, so familiar with Zoom. In fact, Zoom is the platform by which we're able to enjoy this gift from Arriva to the marketplace. But we are all familiar with Zoom fatigue. Yet why is it that with one hour of Zoom meeting, we feel down, but we can watch the entire episodes of Crash Landing on You in one sitting? And there's a reason for that. We don't have to feel bad like the cat on the image. Brain science says our brain learns with two images two elements, images and emotions. According to Harvard, this is back in 2014, our brain loves storytelling. Because friends, did you know that your brain and mine is not wired to retain facts? It is in, instead wired to retain stories. And what happens during Zoom meetings, you tell facts. That's why a lot of things go wrong. And friends, did you know that your mind your eyes, your mind can see words. If you say something like a car, your brain can actually see a car. And just to make a point, if I were to mention the word microphone, will you spell a microphone in your mind? Or will you think of an image of a microphone? Chances are you will think of an image of a microphone. That's why for this 45 minute talk plus Q and A, we have 321 slides and four movie clips. Because according to February 1, 2022, the current year that we're in, the U.S. is burnt out and frustrated. COVID-weary Americans are trying to accept uncertainty as their new normal. Similar with us, kalahati na po buwan. In five more months, panilinig na natin si Jose Marichan sa mall. Parang ang bilis ng panahon. Now, what determines success and failure? If you look at the animal kingdom, hindi tayo pinakamalaki, that's the elephant. We're not the tallest, that's a giraffe. We're not the strongest, that's a lion. But how come we are able to reign supreme over the animals? Every breath you take And every move you make Every bond you break Every step you take I'll be watching you Image and Emotions. That song, 1980s, a classic by the police, Every Breath You Take, aptly describes our brain. Every breath you and I take, every move you and I make, I'll be thinking of you. Our brain determines our personality. Your personality and mine is not determined by our elbow. It is determined by our brain. Our brain determines how you act and how you think. Yet most people know more about their cell phones than how their brains work. And we have to really have a conversation about that. In 2009, there was a movie called Body of Lies starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Russell Crowe. In this movie, they are CIA agents in Syria and they're trying to find a terrorist mastermind. In the scene we're about to see, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, who is an American undercover CIA is trying to ask a Syrian nurse for a date. I'm glad that did that apply during the high school times of Kate and myself, because if I were to ask Kate for a date back then many, many, many years ago, I would need two dates. The first date to have, is to have a conversation about how to have a conversation. The second date, pag pumayas Kate, is the actual conversation. That's because we take our brain for granted. We think na alam natin siya, or we're intimidated that it's too difficult, but we can always ask the help of our superhero friends.
sorry about that. Jeff. Anyway, uh, that was supposed to play the soundtrack of Batman. But all of you know Batman. In fact, sa Pilipino may kasabihan, bahala na si Batman. I am an engineer by training. I'm not a doctor. When I speak abroad, they introduce this doctor on pill. Tinatanggap ko na lang po yun. Pero atin-atin lang mga Pilipino. I actually graduated from engineering. Now, neuroscience, we do not need a medical degree. It can be, this, it can be defined using Batman. Neuroscience is simply the study of the B-brain, how it A acts, how it T thinks. So that's bat. So you can man manage your actions and thoughts. O di ba? Iba talaga Pilipino. So when you want to understand neuroscience, just think of Batman. Now, our brain has certain characteristics. Our brain is very light. It only weighs 2% of our total body weight. So Kate is very well fit. Kate Pasensya na ikaw ang partner ko in crime. If he weighs 100 pounds, Kate's brain would only weigh 2 pounds. But that 2% is actually the most energy consumptive organ of the body. Our human brain, which actually controls everything we do, takes up 20% of our uh, daily caloric intake. So what you eat in the morning is very important, but that's for another webinar by Riva. And if you're able to eat well and have energy well, you will Zoom. Back in 2011, 1970, I understand, Kate, you said to me, Rito, the attendees of our now we know of SpaceX by Elon Musk and by George Bezos. Back then in the 70s, they used to go to the moon and they had a different uh, vehicle. There was a movie back in 1995 called Apollo 13. We're go for launch. T minus 15. That was just to show you, to give an idea of how it was to launch spaceships into space back in the 70s. And I was able to hit a bucket list of mine. I actually went to Cape Canaveral where they did that. Apollo, Apollo 11 was the first to land a man on the moon. We're talking about Apollo 13. And just as a motivational inspiration, when you launch rockets into space, you spend the most energy in the first two minutes, after which you are broken free from the gravitational pull of the moon and you can actually spend less energy. So when you're trying to do any change management initiative for your life, perhaps middle of the new year, you want to reboot your life. It's only hard in the first two minutes. It's only hard so pisa. Then once you break in free of the inertia, you'll be flying to the moon. So in Apollo 13, Apollo 1, which was back in 1969, we were able to land a man on the moon and bring him back home. Then Apollo 12 came in and Apollo 13 came in. But there was one thing that distinguished Apollo 13. Apollo 13 experienced an explosion midway from the earth to the moon. 
Now, this is the docking station of Apollo 13 and even Apollo 11, 12, and all the rest of the Apollos. You will see on the left side the service module. Yun po yung sinasakyan ng three, three man Apollo crew going to the moon. And then that service module, you will just uh, shrink it down to the command module, which is the Odyssey. And the LEM or the landing module, yan po yung maglaland sa moon, which is called the Aquarius. I'm saying these things because in the next scene, we will be talking about energy and these things will be referred to. So command module, Odyssey, that is where the three people ride going to the moon. And that is actually the same vehicle that will splash down to the Pacific Ocean with the parachute upon re-entry. The LEM or Aquarius can only fit two people and it will land on the moon and be left on the moon. Now in the, ne in the next scene, uh, they were thinking there was an explosion and nobody could understand what happened between the earth and the moon. They were in the middle of nowhere. People were guessing. And then somebody came up with the answer. So you're telling me you can only give our guys 45 hours? That brings them to about there. Gentlemen, that's not acceptable. Whoa, whoa, guys! Power is everything. Power is everything. What do you mean? Without it, they don't talk to us. They don't correct their trajectory. They don't turn the heat shield around. We got to turn everything off now. They're not going to make it to re-entry. What do you mean everything? With everything on, the one draws 60 amps. At that rate, in 16 hours, the batteries are dead. Not 45. And so is the crew. We got to get them down to 12 amps. How many of them? You can't run a vacuum cleaner on 12 amps, John. You have to turn off the radars, cabin heater, instrument displays, the guidance computer, the whole smack. Whoa, well, guidance computer? Well, what if they need to do another burn? Gee, they don't even know which way they're pointed. The more time we talk down here, the more juice they waste up there. I've been looking at the data for the past hour. That's the deal? That's the deal. Okay, John. Then we finish the burn, we'll power down the limb. All right. Now, in the meantime, we're going to have a frozen command module up there. In a couple of days, we're going to have to power it up using nothing but the re-entry batteries. Well, we've been tried before. Hell, we've never even simulated it before, Gene. Well, we're going to have to figure it out. I want people in our simulators working re-entry scenarios. I want you guys to find every engineer who designed every switch, every circuit, every transistor, and every light bulb that's up there. Then I want you to talk to the guy on the assembly line who actually built the thing. Find out how to squeeze every amp out of both of these goddamn machines. I want this mark all the way back to Earth with time to spare. We never lost an American in space. We're sure as hell not going to lose one on my watch. Failure is not an option. So that is where you get the famous saying, failure is not an option. I have that on my refrigerator as a magnet to empower me and to remind me, to get me motivated. You recall that there are two parts of the Apollo landing mission. The command module can fit three. At lupo yung crew ng Apollo 13. The LEM or the Aquarius can only fit two. Now, because of the explosion, the electrical circuits in the command module, which can house three, was damaged and energy is seeping in. That's why they have to uh, shut down everything and move three people back into the limb, which can only house two, because that's the programming of the brain. Our brain is the most energy consumptive organ of our body. And even with that, it's the most important in terms of uh, controlling what we do. Our brain is like an iceberg. There's the conscious part, consciously similar to what you and I are experiencing right now, our brain, your brain and mine, we are inundated with 40 million bits of information per second. Imagine five senses. Imagine all the senses that you're experiencing right now. They measured it. The conscious mind that what you and I are experiencing right now, we are inundated with 40 million bits of information per second. But there's a problem. Our conscious brain is very slow it can only handle 40 bits. We are receiving 40 million bits, it can only handle 40 bits. So what does it do? It throws the, the balance, the 39 million plus, 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 uh, 40 million bits that are up to the subconscious mind. 
So we have two brain facts arising from this energy consumptive status of the brain. The brain wants to conserve energy because if the brain learns out of energy, it cannot function and all our life will die because our brain controls the way our heart pumps, the way we breathe oxygen, the way we perspire. If our brain runs out of food or fuel, it stops and we will die. So because of the brain wanted to conserve energy, enable to keep us moving, it has two applications. The first is it prefers certainty. Because when it comes to certainty, the brain does not need to do cognitive analysis or yung cog conscious process analysis. They don't have to change anything. Now, with, with the new hybrid, there are a lot of change initiatives that are being introduced by organizations. And when we need to, because nobody prepared us for two years of COVID. Nobody prepared us for the Ukraine war. Nobody prepared us for global famine, food shortage, supply chain shortages. Nobody prepared us. So we have to have change management, but the brain opposes change. Friends, your brain and mine opposes change. That's why you will experience if you try to introduce change in your life. For example, New Year's resolution is to go to the gym every day. You find that there's a resistance because your brain will resist change. Your brain just wants to chill. Parang ganyan. Second application is your brain takes mental shortcuts. They're referred to as biases. I would bring brain natin mag because thinking takes up a lot of energy. So these are called biases. Our brain has a lot of mace hinahanapanap yung lugar. So our brain does not want to take the long route. It wants to take the straight route, takes a shortcut. Similar to the picture you see, the local government spent time and money designing the sidewalk on the right side. What do we do? Lalo tayo mga Pilipino. Magcro-cross tayo ng damo. Nakalagay na nga do not cross on the grass. We take shortcuts. Now there are certain uh, biases that were prevalent during COVID. For example, bandwagon effect. We simply conform and follow the crowd. So for example, nung 2020, 2021, may pit ang COVID. Uh, you have to have a quarantine pass. You have to have uh, a lot of um, you have to have a lot of documentation. But if you see, for example, in a place, oi, hindi sila nagso social distancing, bandwagon effect, we follow, and people will follow us. So the dami na tuloy yung pasaway. That is good if you're following the right crowd. But if you are not, problema. A second bias also is called confirmation bias. We search and pay attention to information that would support our very own views. Akilala ni po si Novak Djokovic. Siya po yung Serbian uh, number two in the world. He just won the Wimbledon finals last week. Hindi po siya, pa, hindi siya, hindi po siya bakunado. He refuses to be vaccinated because he feels that it will not be to the benefit of his body. So if he hears studies that says vaccination booster shots are good. He just says no. Similar to you and I, pag pursigido na po tayo to have a certain conclusion, we will just pick and choose any information that will contradict what we believe, etc. Again, that is good if our beliefs are okay. But if we believe the wrong confirmation, we will perpetuate our wrong behavior. So sabi ng mga pusa, bow. There are about 180 confirmed cognitive biases right now. And these biases make us behave robotically. For example, bandwagon effect. You see in the new restaurant, may nagbukas na bagong, um, in, an, in a mall, you, may nagbukas na bagong restaurant, ang daming nakapila. And we're gonna say, sweetheart, baka masarap yan kasi ang daming nakapila. Bandwagon effect. Hindi natin alam, bayaran pala lahat ng mga yon. Because our brain, in trying to understand and analyze all the facts, takes up energy. So it, it does a shortcut by taking mental shortcuts called biases. And we do save energy, but we move like robots. So ayan po yung dalawang effects ng energy consumption level ng brain. We prefer certainty. We hate changes. 
and it takes mental shortcuts. Now, the challenge is with the freedom to go back to the office with the hybrid setup, we have two challenges. We are moving back and forth between bias, our ability to make decisions based on insufficient information and hybrid. So we need to go back to the programming of the brain. Old, bra old ways will not open new doors. If we do not recognize that we are making decisions out of bias, we will not be able to break through. Now, remember when we were working back from home 2020, 2021, the world was changing. Because of COVID, everything is going down. Even now that the world has been relaxing COVID restrictions, everybody still bothered. And they have changed the basketball rules. This is a basketball court. We now have to adapt because experience is subjective. In 2010, there was a movie called Love and Drugs. This is about um, a drug salesman, si Jake Gyllenhaal po yung drug salesman. He uses subconscious programming, which is like a bias, in order to get his women. Hey, Lisa. Her name's not Lisa. I know, I know. But if every time I say, hey, Lisa, then eventually she'll come up to me and she'll be like, you know, my name's not Lisa, it's Jennifer, or whatever, and I'll do a big apology. And I'll say, I thought you were the Lisa who was mad at me for not calling. And then from then on, Jennifer, or whatever her name is, will think that I dated a girl who looked just like her, who I rejected. She'll develop this unconscious need to win my approval, and from then on, it's a cake. Damn. So similar to that movie, tinatawag po ni Jake na Lisa, 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 yung babae na yun. And this, since they're in the same industry, they travel, they're in the same airports most of the time. Pero hindi yun ang pangalan niya. So one of these days, sasabihin nung Lisa, pre, hindi Lisa pangalan ko. And then Jake would say, I'm sorry, you look at the, like the Lisa I rejected before. So rejection, we don't like. Sino ba naman na gusto ma-reject? And that will implant a bias in Lisa's mind or Jennifer's mind ko naman pangalan niya. And then she will try to win the affection of Jake Gyllenhaal. That is an example of mental bias as shown in the Love and Drugs movies. Now, because of technology, we are able to see more about the workings of the human brain in real time. Did you know that there's no such thing as leadership? Leadership, or what we believe is leadership, is actually a composition of things that we have to break, a composition of habits. Like, for example, we want to work together. That's teamwork. We want to think together. That's actually uh, agreement in thinking. Wala po siya one size fits all because you have to fit the right shape to the right position. Sadly, all of human people have unique brains and we are trying to fit a square, a square shape into a round hole. All of us are actually a product of, of our past. Lahat po nung ating experiences affect the way we think. So for example, in leadership, there's a guy named John Maxwell. He, ha he wrote a very famous book, The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. Ang sabi po niya, leadership is only about influence. Nothing more, nothing less. Now, that is not based on neuroscience. That is based on observation. In 2012, there was a movie called Hunger Games. And ito po yung si Jennifer Lawrence, the Matira Matibay, each district is supposed to send a representative. In the scene we're about to see, si Jennifer is being coached by Woody Harrison, yung pong coach niya on how to stay alive. You really want to know how to stay alive? You get people to like you. Oh, not what you were expecting. Oh, when you're in the middle of the games and you're starving or freezing some water, a knife or even some matches can mean the difference between life and death. And those things only come from sponsors. And to get sponsors, you have to make people like you. And right now, sweetheart, you're not off to a real good start. Now that is, the, yan po yung payo nung coach ni Jennifer Lawrence on how to stay alive. This is a game of life and death. The problem is, how do you make people like you? Wala po siyang sinabi. 
right now psychological safety buzzword po siya going on. It's about creating a, a culture of environment in the office whereby people are willing to express their opinions without fear of being judged. So listen attentively. May problema po. April 2021, Lisa Feldman Barrett, who is a renowned global neuroscientist, she writes, your brain predicts almost everything you do. Cutting edge neuroscience shows that your brain isn't built for thinking. It's made to predict your reality. So while you're listening, Paul, you're not listening with an open mind. You're listening to predict. Therefore, yung pong psychological safety is broken and communication becomes a challenge. Now, stress has been a mainstay of mental health concerns ever since COVID. Our stress meter has gone up to the roof. There are two parts of the brain that, has, uh, that pertains to stress. The first is the amygdala. The second is the prefrontal cortex. The amygdala we we'll call him MIGS. Dalawa po siya located between the ears. It is the first part of the brain that was developed. So yung pong mga, mga caveman brothers natin, meron lang po silang limbic system consisting of the amygdala. Ang kanyang goal po is to survive. And si Migs po, the amygdala, he goes around looking for threats. The second part, si prefrontal cortex, tawagin na lang po natin siyang text. He's shaped like chicharong bulaklak. Yung when you're thinking of the brain, you think of this crumpled page. The cortex is the one that's covering our entire brain. That came late, later in evolution. Nauna po yung limbic system na amygdala. Then after that came the cortex. Now, because of text, what is his program? He looks for patterns. And patterns have to be deliberate, intentional, and purposeful. When you are trying to put together a jigsaw puzzle, hindi niyo po ibabagsak lahat ng pieces and try to put it together. You would instead look at the box and look at the pattern that you're trying to put together. Because our brain can only do six things. It would be the first, uh, our five senses of seeing, hearing, feeling, tasting, and smelling, and self-talk, or the meaning that you assign to those five senses. So si Mix, si text po ang kanyang program is to look for patterns. When you're doing a Google search, sino po ang in control of putting the search words? Kayo po, that is the realm of text. If you put problems in my life, panay problema po makukuha nyo. If you put in, instead things I can be thankful for, then you will have a different result. So you have MIGS and TEX. Now we will see how they come into play because MIGS and TEX, they interplay to come up with the control of our emotions. Our brain is not equally predisposed to good and bad. Our brain is actually predisposed to negativity. That is because nangang, nangang, na, po si MIGS because MIX wants us to survive and is always looking out for threats. So because of that, we have what is called a negativity bias. One out of nine, pag meron po kayong ginawang nine good things, tapos you only did one bad mistake today, ano po ang pag-iisipan niyo before you go to sleep tonight? That one bad thing. If your boss gave you 100 compliments and say, alam mo, Kate, you can improve in this particular area, just one thing. Pero when you, before you go home, you would think of that one thing because our brain is predisposed to negativity bias. Si Mig Spot, the one in charge of looking out for threats, has a 10 second lead time over text, who is looking for patterns. So normally, pag may danger, we react emotionally. Then after 10 seconds, we're able to analyze danger ba talaga to? So because of technology, we're now able to realize whether or not this is true. We went to the lab to test whether or not meron pa nga tayong negativity bias and we're checking the cerebral cortex. Yan po yung covered by the, the chicharong bulaklak. Meron po siyang uh, in, a test na ginawa to check information processing. Sa University of Chicago in 1997, they showed participants three, three pictures. One would show a negative picture, one would show a neutral picture, and one would show a happy picture. And they're able to see the response of the brain in real time. And sadly, they realized that yung pung cortex, the one looking for patterns, all picked 
all prioritize the negative picture. Second is a test on the amygdala, CIMIGS. This is with regard to testing emotion and motivation. Back in, uh, back in 1997 as well, Rick Hanson of the University of California went to investigate the amygdala. And then nakita po niya two thirds of the neurons or brain cells in the amygdala are actually predisposed to negativity. So survival kicks in again. When you and I are born, we have two natural fears, a fear of falling and fear of loud noises. But as we grow old, meron po tayong mga kilala na nagbabanji jumping, nawawala na po yung fear of falling. And pumupunta po sa rock concerts, nawawala na po yung fear of loud noises. But the fear of danger, yung pong kay amygdala, was proven to retain even in our maturity. So negativity bias, our brain is like Velcro for negativity. Pag may dumating po negativity, dumidikit siya. And it's like Teflon for positivity. Pag may dumating na positivity, hindi siya dumidikit. So we are actually uh, keeping hold of negative thoughts. Applications po for work. Sinasabi po sa trabaho natin, it's best, lalo na po if a new, you are a new employee, under promise, over deliver. That has been proven to be not true in scientific research because they found out that we get no credit for doing what we promised, but we are penalized excessively if we do not deliver what we promised. So if you over promise and you under deliver, para po kayong itlog, yung pong yung pong uh, uh, punishment is excessive, they might be using a hammer. For learning, they realize po that we learn more and faster with punishment than with the reward. This is groundbreaking po. Negative feedback stimulates learning more than positive feedback. They did this in a test of elementary school students. On the left side po was an empty jar. They were teaching arithmetic. Every time the student got the answer correctly, lalagyan po niya ng marble yung right jar. Yung pong second group, meron, binigyan po sila ng a jar full of marbles. Every time they got a wrong answer, babawasan po ng marble yung full jar. So negative feedback po yun. Then after one sem, binigyan po sila ng exam. Yung pong nasa left group, those who were incentivized with negative feedback did extensively better than those who were given positive feedback. And for general behavior, meron po tayong kasabihan, golden rule. Do unto others what you want others to do unto you. And again, that has been proven to be false. Ang dapat po, focus on the negative because that is what the brain of your colleagues would be focusing on. Do not do unto them what you don't want to be done unto you. So, Meron po silang in-study na pag kayo po ay may kasalanan, you, you need to do five good things. Five good things to counteract that one bad thing. And finally, when it comes to giving feedback, meron po tayong place sandwich yung pong puri, uh, feedback na negative and puri. So we try to sandwich po yung praise, negative praise, para po hindi maramdaman. That has been proven not to work again in science. Because the people getting the feedback focus on the negative thing. Even if you give 100 positive feedbacks, negative, 100 positive, so yung sandwich po niya makapal. The person, because of negativity bias, will focus on that one negative feedback. So ang best po is just give the negative feedback once. Huwag niyo na pong paliwanag. And then give the positive feedback again, independent. Kasi if you give the praise sandwich, people are becoming prepared for the word but. Kate, you did a good job with that webinar with Coach Ben Kanina. But. So natatakot na po sila. So solution po, how do we overcome our biases? Think of the acronym BEAST. BEAST stand for, it gives you the ability to override and be positive. B is to break state. So once you do poise, whatever you're doing, you just want to try to do things differently. I personally recommend shake your body po. So example po, you're, you're sitting down, then you, you hear something, uy, negative yan ah. I want to break out of it. Shake your body. And you will find that your body will be parang wiping the state clean. So yan po yung break state. Secondly, now deliberately envision positivity. 
using text because text, the prefrontal cortex looks for patterns instead of negativity and vision positivity. Look at what you can be. Mula sa kitten, you can be a lion, you can be a winner. So envision positivity. And then E, count to 10. Kasi po, remember, si Migs is a 10 second lead time over text. You want to give them time to come together. So in that case, you will no longer be acting robotically. You will now be able to, if you break state, tatanggal niyo po yung epekto ng negativity, you envision positivity using C prefrontal cortex, and you, you wait for 10 seconds, and you embrace that for 10 seconds. Iiral po si prefrontal cortex over C mix. And because of that, you will be okay. When you choose a frame, the way you choose to frame a painting like the Mona Lisa changes the way you appreciate the frame. Take a look at it po. If it's wooden, mukha po siyang kagalang-galang. What if we make it? Plastic, psychedelic. The very same picture, we change the way we appreciate it. So if you're feeling sad or you're feeling negative, you want to be in a happy place, just frame. Frame your reality into something positive. This is a trial. No, it's an opportunity to learn something new. And because I love dogs, dogs might not believe it. This is my dog, Pom Pom. She's actually here beside me. Every time I go home, he gives me a new reframe. Ayaw po niya umandar. Aha. Uh, Kate, I lost my, I, I lost my presentation. Okay, one moment. Um, Jeff, can we help out? Coach Ben? Jeff, nag-disconnect yeah. yung presentation that was on. Okay, Coach, I'll manage pa. Friends, that's why I want you to stick with Arriva. They have everything planned well. Tapos pero po kaming tech run, kaya lahat po ng problema na ayos. Would it be okay while we are waiting for your presentation? We'll go on a quick break. We'll go on a quick break and we'll yes. be doing something exciting with our participants. We'll see yes. you in a little while, Coach Ben. Yes, five-minute break, everybody. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, thank okay, you. everyone. So let's do a quick break and we'll do something interesting this afternoon. Arriva Academy is in the mood to give away prizes, so we'll be playing a game. I hope you guys are ready. But for this game, I would like to invite everyone to turn on their cameras because I need to see you. Kailangan ko kayong makita for you to be able to be a part of this game. The game is called Virtual Bring Me Game. Ayan. So turn on your cameras again, everyone. Kailangan nakikita ko kayo. Because this is how the game goes. I'm sure you're familiar with the Bring Me Game. But this is virtual. So I will be requesting for an item. Let's say, for example, it's a ball pen. I'll say, bring me a pen. The first one to show a pen in front of the camera, of their camera, would be declared the winner. Okay, and what will the winner get? You will be receiving 200 pesos and it will be sent directly to your Gcash account. Ayan. See, you're attending a free live webinar. May chance pa kayo magkalaman ng Gcash ninyo for a coffee or for some snacks later on. So we will have two winners for this game. So I hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are ready. Again, so we're going to turn on your cameras. Here goes. Here's the first item. The first item. Please bring me your planner or your journal. Planner or journal. The first one, Maria and Jimelin. Maria and Jimelin, congratulations. Ayan, ang ganda ng kanyang blue planner. Pitakita niya agad ang best. Parang katabi niya lang yata. So this is what you have to do. Maria and Jimelin, please send your GCash account number to us privately here in the chat box. Look for Arriva Academy Philippines, okay? So that's what you have to do. Send it privately para hindi lahat makakita ng iyong number. And then we'll send you your prize in a little while. Congratulations! And because you've won already... 
Um, let's give chance to others, okay? Hindi ka na pwedeng sumali. Now, the other co-participants who are here in the group will get a chance to bring and to get the 200 pesos. Okay, so this one. Nako, eto. Let's see. Bring me any kind of fruit. Any kind of fruit. Frutas. Bring me frutas, frutas. Ang bilis ni Honey. Honey, what's the surname? Honey Dumantay. Meron siya agad. Mangga. Congratulations. Honey. Honey, just like Jimeline, please send your Gcash number, account number to Arriva Academy Philippines here in the chat box. Congratulations. You will be receiving 200 pesos also from Arriva Academy. So we have our two winners. So thank you, everyone, for joining. I hope you had fun. Now I'll move on with the rest of my presentation, and then I'll give the floor back to Coach Ben. Uh, Kate, will you be talking power back, back na tayo to regular programming? Uh, let me check. Uh, Jeff is Coach We're Ben's good. presentation. Okay. We're good now. Okay, Jeff. sure. So I'll give the floor back to you now. Friends, thank you for your patience, but this gave us uh, a possibility and a platform to show how professional Arriva is. They're really ready. And I'm not saying this because I'm kaibigan ko po sila. It's a free webinar. I am US certified. We're doing this for free. Tapos may Gcash pa. And they have the highest technical backup. And let, let's give Kate a round of applause. Everybody, palakpak po tayo for Kate. So, Jeff, uh, stand by, please. I'll share screen. Uh, we'll just be taking it off from the last portions. Uh, Jeff, how is it? Okay. Anyway, I think it's being seen. So, as I was say saying, everybody, that um, we have to be able to change the frame. Now, before you, when you came on board to watch this uh, complimentary webinar, nothing's for free because we Arriva only offers good value. You might be thinking free to, but when you realize that they're only giving good value, they have good tech support, and they're even willing to give free free prices, yung GCash. Now you begin to change the frame. Grabe pala Arriva, similar to what we do with life. Now, this is Pom Pom. She is my, my dog is actually here. He is my happy place because every time I go home, uh, Jeff Ayo talaga. Um, hmm. uh, Jeff, take two. I will not share screen anymore. Friends, last try, last try. And then I won't share screen anymore. I won't. Uh, Thank you for your patience, Kate. Last try. Kate, can you hear me? Yes. All right. Okay, we'll take it. Third time is a charm. If not, maubus magbibigay na naman ng out of pocket na two hundred fifty si Kate. So again, dogs. This is Pom Pom. She is my happy place because when I go home. Ay, nako. Ayaw talaga. Uh, I'll go na lang to the ending part. Uh, friends will conclude this na lang. My apologies. But that shows you that we are live. So, uh, I was supposed to show Pom Pom's dancing to the tune of Happy. So every time nagkaroon ka ng masamang problem or mas bad day, then you open the door and you have a dog like Pom Pom dancing to happy. You cannot but realize how good life is. So again, if you want to break uh, bias in general, whether, whether it's confirmation bias, bandwagon effect, negativity bias, remember bees. 
B is to break state. Wherever you are, just do something physical kasi mind and body connection. You can, pag nasa public po kayo, wag po kayong gaganon. Medyo kakahiya po yun. So just do something to break your state. If you're sitting down, you might want to stand up. And then E, envision positivity. Envision the opposite of the bias that you are experiencing. If you're, for example, envisioning confirmation, en envision non-conformity. Uy, lahat sila pumipila. I will envision not falling in line. And then embrace that thought for 10 seconds because that will give the amygdala and the prefrontal cortex time to vault in or get together. And because of that, yung pong negativity will become happy. So again, friends, there are a lot of technologies that can make our life better. Ignorance does not give us an excuse because mga 30 years ago, wala pa po technology to see the brain real time. But now that we're able to do it, we, ha we have no excuse. So again, thank you to Ariva for arranging this uh, masterclass, complimentary for our friends in the marketplace. And I want friends, the rest of 2022 holds a lot of opportunities and promise. Just make sure that you learn to get to know your brain and you don't have to take pills in order to be happy, self-esteem, confident, or you have peace of mind. You just have to think it and put it on your mind. Because yung pong playing field, the basketball court, the way we do business, the way we go to work hybrid, nagbago na po yung boundaries. We are all unprepared for this. We just have to think with our minds. And if you want a breakthrough, we need to be able to think our minds. And because of that, we can zoom. Remember, po, negativity bias is real. If you do not mind your mind, you would not be able to manage your behavior. Q&A. Uh, thank you, Paul, for your attention. Kate, back to you. Thank you so much. Is it okay before Q and A? I just have a few announcements, and then we'll go back to the Q and A immediately. For your questions, please type them here in the chat box or get them ready because I'll be asking. You will be asking Coach Ben later. Okay, one moment. I would like to continue with this stay on top of our insights and updates stay connected with Ariva Academy visit us on social media you can join Ariva Academy's Facebook group like Ariva Academy's Facebook page follow Ariva Academy in LinkedIn and also check out our website www.ariva.com.ph and be part of Ariva Academy's Viber community it's a growing community you can scan the QR code flash on your screen and then join us there and watch out for updates there for those of you who might have missed the live webinars that we had especially the free ones you can all catch them in our youtube channels ariva academy and ariva talks those are the channels that you can subscribe to i also would like to invite you to some of our upcoming online learning sessions here they are Resilience and Remote Ability, Proven Ways to Boost Your Resilience at Work. This will be on Thursday already, July 14. July 14 also, Coaching for High Performance, How to Build a Coaching Culture to Drive High Performance Teams. The 7th Mini MBA on Labor Relations Management, Advanced Employee Relations and Engagement will be on July 15. The evolving role of corporate secretaries, board directors, trustees, and corporate officers will be on July 20. Essentials of finance for non-finance practitioners on July 21. Mini MBA for strategic HR professionals, essentials of human resource management in a hybrid work environment. This will be the topic on July 22. The fourth, computerized accounting system, BIR compliance for medium and large taxpayers will be on July 27. On August 2, we have another free live webinar, so take note of this. The power of the success attitudes become the person who can change during a crisis. Again, this will be on August 2 already. Register as early as now so you can secure your slots. Another free live webinar on August 5, Managing Talent in a Chaotic VUCA Volatility, Uncertainty, Complexity, and Ambiguity World. 
interesting free live webinar topics, so watch out for them. Estate tax planning strategies and estate tax amnesty on August 10. Data security breach management. This one is very timely and it will be on August 10 also. How to be more assertive in a hybrid work environment. This one on August 11. And for those of you who are interested in inviting our speakers to conduct an in-house program, Arif Academy can help you with that. Contact the number flashed on your screen or send an email to us. Let us know what topic you have in mind. Here are some of the programs that we offer, but we have a lot more than that. So just let us know and we'll connect you to the right speaker under Arif Academy Speakers Bureau. There you go. So now let's go back to the question and answer portion. Let me check here. Do we have questions here in the chat box? Or please click the raise hand button if you have questions so that you can ask your question directly to our speaker. Let me just go back. Okay, here's a question from Avelino. There are a lot of cognitive biases. How do we know if we're falling into that trap, Coach Ben? Um, you will not consciously that's why they're called unconscious biases but one thing you might learn would be from experience if you notice for example that you keep on if you commit a cognitive bias for example negativity bias if your your girlfriend boyfriend uh, husband's spouse keeps on commending you and you keep on having a negativity bias and then the other party would tell you honey I feel frustrated. I've been complimenting you. You keep on focusing on the negative. Then that should alert you. So sadly, we would only be aware of the existence of a cognitive bias, an, an unconscious bias, once it has been brought to our attention. Now, for example, the third quarter of the year is the time when most organizations start to do strategic planning. Arriva Academies, Academy offers a lot of um, facilitators to help companies do that for them because it's, it's easier done if, it's, if it uh, is facilitated by somebody, third party part objective, and somebody who can critique the data that you submit, the economic variables, the assumptions that you have. So when you do strategic planning, normally you have a bias either up or either down. For example, you, you forecast growth rates that are so conservative that might reflect that you have a bias down. Or you might, you might uh, project a growth rate that's very, very unrealistic. We're only supposed to grow at 6% uh, GDP in Philippines this year. Tapos next year, ginawan 12%. That, that's, that's an unheard of in economic history. So when, when, uh, when we come to things like planning, this is a good part when being able to arrest and being able to manage biases would be beneficial for you and your companies. Because anything and everything that we do, make no mistake about it, biases are there. It is the programming of our brain to keep us alive. But in its, in its uh, effort to keep us alive, we tend to aim low, we tend to not change. <laughs> We tend to not want to do things outside of our comfort zone. And these are the very things we need to do in, the new, in this new hybrid in order to recover and go back to the pre-COVID earnings that we used to have. So when you do planning, uh, I will just put it out there. That is a very ripe environment where, where biases would be able to manifest itself. So when you're discussing in a group, in your team, when you do your strategic plans for 2023 onward, you can see, bakit ito masyadong negative? Bakit ito masyadong positive? Bakit ito sunod na ng sunod? And that might show you that you have a biased culture and that is not healthy for planning purposes. I, I hope that answers the question. Back to you, Kate. Thank you so much. And I think this would be our last question because of time constraints. This one is from Cezanne. How about prolonged exposure to negativity like social workers? How to navigate? Um, that is sad news. Actually, the two-year COVID experience has already affected all of us globally. It is the first time this present generation 
has ever experienced something like that. It's unprecedented. In fact, the World Health Organization mentioned that the people who survived COVID, tayo po yun, and everybody else, experienced more trauma than those who survived World War II. And that is a statement coming from the World Health Organization. Right. Um, so sadly, if you are in an environment that's full of negativity or things that put you down, first of all, it will sap your immunity system, mind-body connection. Uh, that's why if you're, you're, if you're angry at somebody for one minute, that translates to a five-hour diminution of your immunity. I say again, friends, if you're angry at somebody for one minute, that translates to a five-hour loss of immunity for f- five, five hours. So isipin nyo, yung person ba yun worth five hours of my immunity? So if we are in a constantly negative environment, it will make us traumatized emotionally. We cannot think straight and our body will manifest somatic. Soma means body. Somatic uh, diseases and unwellness. Best to get out of that environment. Uh, I do coaching. I've done coaching with dysfunctional families, uh, domestic violence. And yung, pong, yung trauma is passed on from generation to generation. But again, with knowledge and with prayer, things will be okay. Back to you, Kate. Thank you so much, Coach Ben. We really learned a lot from you. Short webinar, but really meaty and full of new learning. So thank you so much. Because of that, we would like to present the certificate to you. Let me read it. Ariva Academy, Learning Development at its point. Gratefully presents the certificate of appreciation to Coach Ben Ampil for generously sharing his professional expertise, invaluable knowledge, and wisdom to the delegates of how to overcome unconscious bias in the workplace. Held on July 12, 2022, by a Zoom platform. Signed by the Chairman and Chief Strategist, Learning Event and Research, Chiyam Pienzo, and President and Chief Learning and Development Strategist, Michelle Irish Malonda Samson. Ladies and gentlemen, our speaker, Coach Ben Mathieu. Thank you so much. I, I would like to take my uh, last minutes to say thank you to Kate. Kate is a dear friend of mine. She's pretty on webcam. Mas maganda po siya in person. Ay nako. And uh, Sir JM and Miss Irish and everybody of the Riva team are family to me. Uh, it's always a pleasure and joy to be able to bless lives, which is the mission of Ariva. So please do check them out and follow them on social media so you'll be updated. Kayo po, Gcash, ako, gift certificate. Mas maganda po yan. Again, Ariva friends and Kate thank you very very much thank you so much coach Ben really really maraming maraming salamat for always saying yes to us and for ge- being very generous with your wisdom to all of our participants now before we end this webinar I'd like to invite again everyone to turn on their camera let's have a group photo with our speaker so please please turn on your cameras join us We want to see the beautiful faces of our participants. There you go, Ayan. And then we will be assisted by our technical director, Jeff. Yes, maraming maraming salamat, Jeff. I owe you coffee. Yes, you're welcome, Coach. Okay, guys, please enable your camera before we start for the group picture. Okay, minsan lang po tayo picture with Coach Ben. Okay, come on. Okay, I think we're good. Guys, get ready. Show me your beautiful smiles. And three, two, one, smile. Okay, one more. Uh, this time, uh, um, finger heart naman po. Yan. Next Korean po. Opa. Okay, get ready. And three, two, one, smile. Thank you. Back to you, Miss Kate. Jeff, maraming thank salamat tayo. You call me fishballs. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, 
In behalf of everyone from Reviva Academy, I would like to say thank you to all of our participants for joining us this afternoon. We are looking forward to welcoming you again in our future learning events. So maraming maraming salamat, but in the meantime, let us all keep safe. God bless you all. Thank you so much.